So I'm sitting here editing. Yes, it's dark. Yes, I know. I just want to let you guys know before we get into the video, the centering of the table is kind of off, y'all. Please don't mind that. My camera was all types of messed up. And yeah, I really couldn't control it. So just thank you for enjoying the video and thank you for watching again. Hey, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nani. And as always, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in or, of course, on your way out all right y'all so if you guys watched my last video you guys seen that i mentioned that i'm going to be doing a collab with sneakerholics wow i put their link in my last video description but it also will be in this video description so now i'm going to let them introduce themselves you go first all right um kirk as always here sneakerholics gang certified we got Ant over there. I introduced him before we like we do on the channel. Yo, I can do <laughs> no, myself. No, I'm no, gonna go. no, I'm no, no, no. <laughs> My name is Anthony Wilson. And breads are not essential. <laughs> now let's get started. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay <laughs> y'all. So on the channel today, we are going to do something a little different. We are going to be doing some question and answers, basically about sneakers and different questions I want to know about their channel and things like that. So before we get too far into the video, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna say it again for y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Duh. Before we go to your Wait, house. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah, so now we are going to get the video started. I'm going to be asking seven questions, y'all, just so y'all know, okay? So you guys can answer in any order you want, okay? Whoever starts first, <laughs> then that's how it goes. Okay. So the first question is, what inspired your YouTube channel? I'm gonna answer this one, me. I did. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna say shoes, but then yeah. <laughs> nah, it, was, it was quarantine time, and like you know, we always love shoes. We worked at sneak, um, various secret stores. I just felt like it was, you know, just quarantine gave us the perfect opportunity just to get the ball rolling. Since then, it's just been history. That's interesting. Getting bigger and better every day. And me. <laughs> yeah, he said I was slagging at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then he he started it off, did one video. I was like, <laughs> dang. And then he was like, all right, so if you want to get started, we have to get started then. So, <laughs> okay. then it's been on. Cool. What inspired your story? Basically, how did you guys get into the sneaker game? Individually, together? How did you guys want to answer? It was individually. You Definitely. can tell how you got into the sneaker game. First. Um. I mean, it was it was always like a, a shoe thing. I mean, when I was younger, you know, you couldn't get the biggest and the best shoes. Um, but after I got my first pair, I got the Concord 11 Lows. Um, after that, I started it all. Um, ever since then, it's just been collecting everyone I could get. And then came across Ant working at a different sneaker store. Um, had a good um, good brotherly relationship after some happened. Stop lying. Me, me and Kurt were gonna fight with oh. <laughs> Yeah, and then after we found out what really happened, I apologize. Yeah, and then and then ever then ever since then we were close. Yeah, ever since then, <laughs> me I was broke as hell. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was super broke, like, and I always wanted like I knew all the names of the shoes, how to lace them, how to lace other people's shoes, and then I just once I got a job it was over. Like since then, it's definitely just wasn't like, worried about nothing. Wasn't worried about nothing. He got money, get it all for him. You know, if Jordan Brand happens to watch this video. Can you give us cherry 12s back, please? Highs, no lows. <laughs> Definitely that. not the lows. I'd say that every video. You gotta say them. <laughs> if you had to pick three favorites from your sneaker collection, which would it be? Would they be, should I say? You can start this one, yeah. Travis Scott Sixes. That one. Travis Scott Sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Scott <laughs> So that'd probably be my Travis Scott Sixes, my OG Bel Air Fives, and probably my the 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 other Bel Air Fives, the ones with no shoelaces. Those are probably my top three. I no, I lied. I lied. I take the I take the original Bel Air Fives. I'm sorry. Black Cement Three is my favorite shoe in the plane. I almost forgot I had it because I don't wear it that much. <laughs> sorry. Um, number three definitely best shoe. My favorite shoe, Flu Games. I have to get put in there. Um, two, I'm gonna go with the Oregon Foam. Just something different. Um, three, I'm gonna go with the Off-White Presto, just cause it's like a super comfortable shoe, but also like designer-wise, so it's definitely something cool. Right. Oh. Do you? I said Travis Scott, Travis Scott, <laughs> Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you go, go. 
What's the most you ever paid for a sneak, like a, for a pair of sneakers, and how much was it? <laughs> if you guys aren't comfortable saying the price, oh, you don't no, have to. No, okay. No, I'm just, I'm okay. Just you know, Kurt's gonna say five thousand or something like that. <laughs> nah, I'm still poor. Chill out. Um, I would say, all right, eight hundred. All right, everyone knows on the um, off white neon yellow Air Forces. You said you paid eight. Yeah. Um, my five was a red bottoms, the eight joints. Oh yeah. I paid twelve hundred for them. Sheesh. I'll never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Most uncomfortable shoe I've ever like purchased in my life. I heard those are uncomfortable. Super, they just so narrow. I took the insole out and everything is still uncomfortable. It's just like they so firm, boys. Yeah. You know that. I'll probably get, I probably wore them three times and that's it. And I wear my shoes. It's like it's something like that you only pull out once in a while anyway. Nah, I was gonna wear it every day. I was gonna, I paid 1200 for it. <laughs> my money. <laughs> 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 Do you have a least favorite sneaker slash shoe? That you like probably like wouldn't wear, but other people like. Yeah, other people are gonna kill me when I say mine. So you can. <laughs> I gotta think of one. Travis got ones. You don't like those? Mm -hmm. Hell no. I think it's the That's most. Sky. Bro, damn Newport sign on the side of sneaker. I'm making people mad too. Watch them say bread some stuff. Damn. <laughs> Bumble Dior ones. Oh, he's wild. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not here. You took, you took a gray, you took a gray and white mid, and made it a high, and then put a Dior switch and then won ten bands. <laughs> Come on now. Every one was handmade. <laughs> I like those. I have to disagree them. with you. They are handmade. I don't care. I don't care. And then he gonna say that. But back, back in the day in high school, in like 19th grade, he had the LeBrons with the back switch. With the switch was back. I gonna say nothing. No. Was, I used to come first to the house. He came up in the background. Time 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 back there. Time out, time out. Hold on. It was the backwards switch. This is a cigarette. Like, the Newport symbol is the Travis Scott symbol. The Nike sign. No, it, it was switched all around. Switched. It was Back, this one's upside down. He had the LeBron switch. Back. Oh, my. that's what we do it now. He ain't getting me because I ain't got nothing to you. He's a nut. Don't listen to him. He's a nut. I ain't gonna lie. Travis Scott's just, they don't excite me. Like, it's first of all, it's brown. I don't like nothing brown. Maybe people buy it for the name. Yeah, that's what they do. That's the only reason why they should buy it because that shoe is ugly. <laughs> And you put it, it's like, you ever see them them ice creams and they got the three different flavors in it? The white, the pink, and then the chocolate? Mm -hmm. That's what Travis Scott's look like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what Travis, that's what Travis Scott's look like. Sheesh. I'm lying? Nah. Oh, a lie. <laughs> oh, I'll wait. <laughs> DR1's is trash, I guess. <laughs> We're not, he's not sneaker holics anymore. Wow, fired like, twice in one day. <laughs> Okay, question number six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Need that. laughs> what would you say to someone that says collecting sneakers is a waste of time? What's your hobby? It's a waste of time. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> nah, I would tell them to just look at the differences. Like, like if you buy a shoe for one six, like if you get a deal for retail, right? Which is two thousand, I think retail is for a deal. Right, right. Shoe goes for ten thousand. It's an investment. Nah, if yeah. I sold all my shoes right now, I would be set for a, for a good amount of time. And I feel like look into something before you say you don't like it, because that makes money faster than a lot of you. I would say it's just like it's like collecting everything. It's like collecting baseball cards. It's like collecting anything. Um, also, I mean, it's just how you like them. Like I know most people just look at their shoes sometimes, you know, and be happy how they bought them and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So. And also, they come with great stories sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. some shoes you could have stories that will live with you for a lifetime and you can't get rid of them. This is the last question, guys. Does your liking to sneakers affect your perspective on beauty? For example, if you see someone, girl, guy, is the first thing you look at is their sneakers. Yes. Why is that? Because I just can't. You could have all of this, feel me? It's really about your personality in the day in the first place. But if I look down and you got black Air Force Ones on, <laughs> that's a dangerous situation. You can tell a lot about a person by what they got on their feet. I'm not gonna lie. You could really tell, like, if a girl got a shoe that's been out for a while, it's clean, it's laced up nice, you know, 
if she take pride in just doing that her shoes, then I'm assuming that her hygiene and everything's at the park. That's not the case all the time, but I feel like if you take pride in stuff like that, you take pride in a lot of stuff. I feel like your yeah, first impression on a person is like, is the best the thing. Best because if you don't, if you come here wearing black Air Forces, I don't care if you come with Dior's, you still wore black Air Forces two days ago. <laughs> yeah. I said Dior's, right? You disagree? Nice, you know? You know? Um, yeah. I would say it definitely, it definitely takes a turn. I would, I look at shoes before anything when I look at someone. But I mean, it also depends. Working especially like retail for a long time, I know Amplify the same way. Sometimes when you look down, you just gonna see somebody with some like crazy feet on you, like bad crazy feet. You gonna be like, <laughs> come on, you know what I'm saying? And they will spend more bread than someone who come in with some crazy stuff. So a lot of people with a lot of money sometimes don't, don't care about their feet. So right. sometimes it doesn't matter. But that's definitely the first thing I look at. <laughs> It matters. It matters. <laughs> like they teach us in retail, they tell you, like, it's horrible, but you really gotta judge a person right, when they walk in. Right. They tell you after, like, this is what corporate, like, foot loggers and stuff like that, they tell you, like, if they look like they're not gonna spend no money, you get to somebody like they're gonna spend some money. Anything to make that day. Right. And, like, it becomes a habit, and you can really start to tell, like, okay, you're not gonna buy nothing. And then after a while, you can tell they really don't buy something. It's bad, but it's good at the same time. Understandable. All right, guys, those were all the questions we had today for Sneakerholics. Like I said before, their link to their channel will be in the description box, y'all. Make sure y'all go show them all the love and support that you guys want to show me. And yeah, thank you guys for being on my channel today thank and all you that for good stuff. Us. And before sure. we close out with the video, y'all, like I say always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's drill it in y'all heads mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. And y'all see me in my next video. Bye. I found you.